Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I do have the sweetest and cutest PR package from Bubble. So that all of these products were sent over to me for free and I'm going to be unboxing the package and using the products in today's video to create a nice fall themed Halloween nail set. So make sure you keep on watching if you want to see the products that I received and also the fun Halloween and fall nail art. So starting off with the box, it had a sweet little message. We also have like the insert card and the cream gel polish instructions, which goes in depth with step by step, the removal instructions on the back and also the nail extension instructions as well. So basically just their instruction card. And then I was super, super excited for this. I love how it was themed pink. It was also like so cute, like the way it had the tissue paper with the little sticker. And then when I opened it and saw all these products, I was just so happy and I could not wait to unbox everything and check everything out. So the first item that I'm pulling out here is like a little swatch wheel or like, I don't know really what to call it, kind of like a swatch stick, but instead you have it like that circle oval shape and you can keep all of your colors together. I really like that and it will really help me keep organized with these specific colors. The next item is a little mini nail lamp. And again, just look at the packaging. Very nice on the back. It does have the specifications and the features and then just the sweetest little let's nail it. Opening it up, we do get the cord and the actual nail lamp. It is kind of like an egg-shaped or like cave-shaped nail lamp. And one thing I really loved about it is it does have a on and off button. So you will have to press a button to turn it on and to turn it off, which I really like because I don't like those ones that don't have that button and you're kind of like needing to let it turn off by itself just because I personally prefer doing a quick flash cure. Moving right along here, we have some brushes and these are five different brushes. I love how they were all in like an individual box. I think that's really nice and I'm not sure if that number really has to do with anything. The num or the number on the like actual brush, I feel like that's what has to do. Oh wait, okay. So that was number four and the brush was number four. I did go ahead and unbox all of the brushes just because they did package them really good and I didn't want to like be on here unboxing everything. But the brushes do come with these very nice gold caps. That way you can cap your brush if you want to to help protect the bristles. I really love that. The brushes were not named or labeled. It did just have bubble and then like the number for the brush, 01, 02, all the way to 05. Moving on to the next product here. This is kind of like their gel liquid or gel products. A effortless extension kit, basically their Gel X dupe system. And here are the products. I loved these bottles. First, we do have a little file here. I really like this. I personally don't really use files like this, but that is included. And just look at these bottles. I was in awe looking at them. The way they were pink with the little like gold like label on them. I don't know. It just looks so sleek and I loved the design so, so much. This one is the Peely Base, which is a peel-off base coat. The next one is the regular base coat, which is the one that you will use if you want your nails to last. The peel-off base coat is the one where you can use if you want to be able to pop your nails off. The next item here is the Builder Gel. The Builder Gel is for when you want to add strength and make your nails look healthier and fuller. Nice that that is included. And we also have the Extend Gel, which is the gel that you will use to apply your full cover nail tips, just like the Gel X method. 
and we also have the top coater the top coat which is a no wipe top coat and it is a glossy top coat so those are the products and liquids in this kit here these are all gel products so you will need a curing lamp the next item was quite a surprise and I loved it so, so much. It was a little carry-on or tote bag and it says, I am not perfect, but my nails are. And then at the very bottom, it did give the brand name Bubble with some super cute blue, yellow, pink, green, and orange flowers. And of course, on the inside, we also have like a little pouch as well. I think this is so nice. I will totally be using this bag for a lot of different things. I just think that was so fun and I don't actually have any like bags that say anything like that. So I really liked that. The next item are some nail tips and this is their effortless nail tips in the mixed shape. On the back, you can see that there are a total 450 pieces in 15 different sizes, I believe that said, but I really loved these nail tips. We do get three different shapes in this kit. You can purchase the separate shapes individually, but I did decide to go with the mix. That way I could take a look at all three they sold. First one I showed were the almond, the second ones will be the coffin, and then the third ones will be the squoval shape, like a square oval shape. And what I really liked about these nail tips are they are definitely a time saver and ready to go because they are pre-etched, pre-shaped, and pre-buffed, which I absolutely loved because I know that when I'm doing my nails using the Gel X method, I really take up a lot of time doing the etching, the buffing, and just like having them pre-shaped is a bonus to begin with, but the pre-etched and pre-shaped is awesome. They are also very durable like nail tips. They were very strong quality and really good quality. Moving on to the last item before we get into the nail set are their four in one solid cream gels and I just love this so so much. Of course we've all seen the new like solid cream gels but just taking a look at this packaging and the whole like thing about these specific solid cream gels I just loved them so much. It is their super four in one gel polish. And I just really like that. They are easy to apply, nine free, cruelty free, and 100% vegan. They are also long lasting polish. And I just love how it is a butter like texture. They are not runny, they are like a solid gel, making it very easy to apply. And I feel like these are very beginner friendly because they do not flood your cuticles, they don't run everywhere. And I also really liked using it for some nail art that I did today but these are definitely good. Also, I love the how compact they are. I did get to pick out five different ones here, and I just love the whole like aesthetic of these. It's kind of giving like makeup, the way the little mirror is in there. I don't know. I was just loving it. So I am going to be opening up every color. That way you can go ahead and take a look and see like the colors since it is easy to show. And also keep in mind that on the bottom is the little label of the name for the specific one I'm showing. I will be linking the five that I got sent down below in the description box, but I do know that they have a lot more on the website. And I will just be talking a little bit more about these when I actually get in to swatching them and using them. But overall, just keep in mind, I really love them. They are a 10 out of 10 for me and very high quality solid gel polishes.
So off camera, I did go ahead and swatch four of the four-in-one polishes already, as you can tell, but I did decide I would go ahead and swatch four of the colors in this specific four-in-one gel polish, just so I could show a little bit how they apply and just how smooth and buttery. So this one is Hugs and Kisses. Again, this will be linked in the description box below. That way, if you do like any specific colors I am using today, you can go ahead and pick those up for yourself. I also do want to mention that I am unsure if I have a discount code, but if I do, I will also be leaving that in the description box. I did go ahead and pick out the brush number three. I also poured in some alcohol. No, actually I used acetone in my dampen dish and I also have my paper towel. That way I can clean and wipe my brush. And I am just going to be swatching these four colors and you can truly see how smooth and buttery they apply. Keep in mind that there is no base coat on the like little swatch nails. I didn't feel it necessary to apply base coat to all of these. I'm really not doing like a nail set here. I just really wanted to swatch the colors so I could see what colors I was working with and think of a nail set. Also just getting a feel for these products and I really like them. I didn't even really see too much streaking in these swatches, but of course you can prevent that streaking by just applying base coat before you start your nails. That will really help really give a very clean and smooth application when you are using the product. So just go ahead and keep that in mind. On the swatch you will see a little streaking but when it comes to the nail set in the end once I have that top coat applied to my actual nail set you do not see any streaking so I did just want to go ahead and show what four colors went with what like kit that way if you want to get it you can check the description box so these first four is the 16 autumn's touch collection the next four is 14 truly yours the next four is 17 Good Book, and the next four was 15 Pumpkin Patch, and the last four colors was 04 Hugs and Kisses. So like I said, all of those will be linked in the description box below. This is only one coat of color, no base coat or top coat, just one coat of the color. And I was just so amazed with the pigmentation of these colors, how smooth they applied. And I just had so much fun using them. And I always think that solid cream gels really help me perfect my nail sets. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Because I did receive this peely base coat with which is a peel off base coat, I did decide I would go ahead and give it a try because I am just simply doing gel X nails. I personally don't like giving peel off base coats a try when I'm doing like poly gel or especially acrylic nails just because I know using peel off base coats with poly gel or acrylic it is a lot harder for the nails to actually pop off but when you are doing the gel x method and you don't really do any nail prep besides applying a peel off base coat it does normally work very well and allows you to pop off the nails. After I applied that, I did go ahead and cure for 30 to 60 seconds in my nail lamp, and now I am just sizing out my nail tips. I did decide to go with the coffin shape. I just really loved the shape of these nails, and I am going ahead and sizing them. You do want to make sure your nails are fitting from sidewall to sidewall. Like I will show here, you can see the thumb actually fits my thumbnail perfectly around the cuticle and from sidewall to sidewall without me needing to push it down. You can also tell that the nails are buffed on the top and also etched on the inside of the nail, so I will not need to go in and etch the nail. If I do find that the nail tip is not fitting my nail bed perfectly from sidewall to sidewall or nicely around my cuticle, I will go ahead and just take a hand file to clean up that nail shape, filing a little bit at a time and filing more if necessary. This, will, this step here will really help you have a very clean and good looking finish to your nails. It will just help them look a lot nicer and you will be able to perfect the nails. 
So let's go ahead and quickly get these nail tips applied. I am going to be using the Extend Gel, which is a pretty thick like base coat consistency, and this will help you allow the nail tips to stay on your nails. It also is a very good thick product, which will help your nails stay in place and just overall help any spillage. So I am just taking a little bit of that gel and applying it to the inside of the nail tip. I like to apply it where I estimate my nail is going to be. I also do put a little blob of it at the cuticle area. I then lower it onto my natural nail, holding it in place and putting it under the nail lamp. I do a quick little cure and then I pull it back out, look at it, make sure it's straight and good, and then I will go ahead and hold it in there for a little bit longer. I personally don't really need to hold it in there for the whole like light. I will just go ahead and cure it a little bit and then once I think it's on there decently good, I will go ahead and just take my nail t nails out and then do a full cure for 60 seconds in my larger nail lamp. This is a very quick, easy, super quick process to get some nail extensions in under like minutes. So if you've never tried this out, I highly recommend it, especially from this brand. You can get the cutest Gel X dupe ever. Like I just love these products so much. To do some shaping and filing to the nails, I took a hand file and filed away the little like tip on the free edge of the nail just to make sure it was straight and then also taking my e-file with a cuticle ball bit i'm going in to clean up any spillage and also sealing in the nail tip i went ahead repeated that to the rest of the nails and brushed away the dust and starting off with my first color here which is from the pumpkin patch collection again i'm going to be using the brush number three and i am going to be using this nice nude color on my index finger and on my pinky so while i'm applying this i do want to go ahead and mention that over the weekend i really was not feeling well i've just recently been feeling very tired and i don't know i feel like i'm like getting sick but at the same time i feel like i'm not getting sick i've kind of just been like feeling very lazy recently. My throat is also starting to hurt now that I'm doing my voiceover. So I do want to go ahead and mention that I am not like working myself like too hard. So don't worry about me. I promise I'm fine. I just did want to go ahead and mention that just in case I am not putting out too many videos this week. I wanted to let you guys know the reason for that. But I think I am going to be fine. I think I may just not be able to talk as much in my voiceovers just because for some reason my throat like feels very scratchy and dry and it is like pretty much midday already and this usually does not happen to me. I think it is really just the weather changing and some allergies acting up and like just really like being thrown in my face all at once. So I just want to go ahead and mention that. As you can see, I am moving on to the rest of the nails. I did do kind of like a burgundy brown shade on my middle finger and on my ring finger and thumb. I am using this nice like dark, dark pumpkin orange shade. And then I did go ahead and cure in the nail lamp. And that was the first coat of color. I then went ahead and sped the second coat of color up, but I did go ahead and leave that in. That way you can really see how easy it is to apply this product and how well the product builds up. I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of this play out and then I will hop back on when it's time to do the nail art, but I really hope that you guys are enjoying. I also forgot to mention that I hit 7,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I feel like I just hit 6,000 not that long ago and I'm now at 7,000. So I do want to, again, welcome. If you're new, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. If you are watching and haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. It really helps me out a lot. Also, give the video a like. That helps me out a lot as well. And if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below.
Alrighty, so here are the nails with two coats of color. We are now going to be doing some nail art starting off with the 01 brush, which is a liner brush. I'm going to be taking a white gel polish. I did not get any whites in any of the 4-in-1 solid gels, so this is just a regular white gel polish that I'm going to be using today. On my index finger, I am going to be doing a spider web with a little spider hanging down. And for all of the other nails, I will be doing simple and easy Halloween beginner friendly nail designs. I tried to keep it simple, basic, but yet doing something a little bit different on each nail to kind of mix it up and have a really cute nail set. I also wanted to do a fall and a Halloween set, so I kind of just combined it and did a fall color theme with some spooky little designs on the nail. So I hope that you guys do enjoy these beginner-friendly nail designs. But I am starting off with the spider web here. I went ahead and started at the like cuticle area on the side of the nail. I went ahead and drew three lines down. I cured that for a quick flash cure of around 20 to 30 seconds. And then I'm just going in with like the, like kind of like a crescent moon or like a C. I don't really know how to describe that, but you know what I'm doing here. And I am just really drawing in the web of the spider to the web of the spider web and bringing it all together. I then will go ahead and clean that up and cure for 30 seconds. Once I liked that, I decided I would go ahead and add a little spider dropping down. So I drew on a little white line, taking a dotting tool and some black gel polish. I will be drawing the body, which is basically just a circle or a kind of round blob. And then taking the liner brush and the black gel polish, I will be creating some legs on the spider. And then also using a dotting tool with some white gel polish, I will go ahead and put on two white dots for the eyes and then curing for a full 60 second cure to be sure it is all cured. After I was finished with the spider nail, I'm now going to be moving on to the next nail and I am going to be doing a cute little like ghosty night sky nail. So I'm starting off with a dotting tool. If you know me, you know that I love making ghosts. I think they are very beginner friendly and super easy, especially when you do use a dotting tool. So I'm just going to be creating two little ghosts on the nail, one at the corner and then more of a full body ghost. And then I will also be creating little arms on the sides of the ghost. Once I like that and like how it looks, I will go ahead and do a cure of 20 to 30 seconds in the nail lamp. And then I will be taking a dotting tool with some black gel polish this time, creating the little facial features, which are the eyes and the mouth of the ghost. I then go ahead and cure that. And then I will be adding on some dots and four pointed stars just to kind of bring this nail together and not have it be so empty. I feel like four pointed stars and dots really just tie together nail art and can fill in any empty space you may have. For the four point stars, I start off with a dot and then I take my liner brush to drag out the four points of the star. And then for the dots, of course, they are just like smaller little details where I just go ahead and plop those on wherever I feel they fit. And then I will go ahead and cure this nail for a full 60 second cure to make sure everything is cured. After that, I'm going to be moving on to the next nail. As you can see, I'm doing very quick and easy Halloween nail art. I hope this is super helpful for beginners and I hope that you find something that you might want to try. But for this nail, I am going to be creating a little mummy. I have been recently seeing this and I love this design and I don't think I've ever tried it before. So I am just going to be creating like the mummy 
like lines on the nail kind of just going crazy putting different lines like diagonal lines lines straight across and then I will be going ahead and placing the two eyeballs I'll put two white dots and then in the center of those white dots I will put two smaller black dots and then I will just go in with a couple more lines because I feel a few of them are missing and then once I finally like the design, I will go ahead and do a full cure of 60 seconds. Once the mummy was complete, I am now moving on to the pinky nail and for this nail, I am just going to be doing the like patched or scarecrow design. I really like this. I did do it in another nail set of mine and I just think it's so simple and looks so cute. So I am just going to be creating two patches on the nail. I used the maroon brown shade solid gel and also I believe I use like the pumpkin orange shade gel and I'm just using these two colors to create like boxes on the nail. Once I have the box shape complete I did go ahead and cure for a full 60 second cure just to make sure it was fully cured so I didn't get any like rippling effect in the nail and then I will be taking my line brush with some black gel polish to outline the boxes and also add on like the little stitch like the y'all know what I'm talking about like just like the little lines to make it look like patches and then once I did like that I went ahead and cured for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I will also be going in with some four pointed stars and some dots just again to tie the whole nail design together and fill up the nail and then off camera I did go ahead and do my thumb and for that I just went ahead and did some blood drips I do have a tutorial on how to do that up on my Instagram if you would like to see that but I feel like it is a pretty basic design and has been going around a lot so I didn't really feel the need to leave that in especially because today's video is a lot longer since I did do a lot of different nail art but honestly this nail set was a breeze for me and I had so much fun doing it and using these solid gels I am now going to be taking the top coat, applying that to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. After curing the top coat, I am now applying my cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And I also do quickly want to mention that I really loved the top coat. It was a very nice thick consistency. I felt like it sealed in all of my nail art, leaving a very glossy finish. It also is a no wipe, which I absolutely love as well. And here are the finished result of the nails. I love them so, so much. I think these solid gels are so nice to work with. And for the very minimal nail art that I did do with them, I think it was very easy to do nail art because they are a thicker consistency, also a very pigmented polish, which is great for nail art. And 
honestly, to do the actual like painting of the full nails, it was not hard at all. So I did want to go ahead and actually leave in the part where I'm popping off the nails. Usually after I'm finished filming and taking my photos, I will just go ahead and pop the nails off just because I do have more content to film. So I did want to go ahead and show that since I did use the Peely base. So here is me just popping the nails off. It really was not hard to do. It may look like I'm doing it very rough, but sometimes I just struggle to get my nail under the nail. Basically, that's the hardest part of doing it, and it does not damage my natural nails, and it's super easy to do, and I can actually save the nails, which I do save them, and you can use them as press-ons or just use them again in the future. I then go in with a buffer just to remove any excess polish that may be on my nails or on my skin. I take some cuticle oil and rub that in to just help nourish my nails since I did just go ahead and pop the nails off. And that is it. Very simple, very easy. And now just jumping back to the regular video here. Here we are with the outside shots. Make sure you check the description box if you are interested in any of the products I used. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.